So what do you do to get your car ready for a car show? And what do you do once you get to your spot? And actually, there's a lot of stuff you can do the day before that helps prep you to make your life easier once you get to your spot. So the goal here is with a show car like this is get the paint perfect, get the glass perfect, get the tires dressed. But where our story begins in this video is actually yesterday. All right, so it's the day before the car show and there are a few things I want to prep and address so when I get to the car show tomorrow, it makes cleaning my car and getting it perfect much easier. So first thing we want to do is address the interior. So, you know, on cars like this that you take to shows a lot, probably don't need to do a deep cleaning like a daily driver. So we'll just go with interior detailer. And all I'm going to do is kind of do a quick wipe down. So we'll start here on the dash. I would recommend using interior detailer because not only is it going to be a mild cleaner, but it's also kind of give a look. It's going to dress it a little bit. Uh, whereas if you're using something like total interior cleaner, this is going to be cleaning, but not really going to give it a look in this car with the center armrest. Uh, it's a little bit dirty because when you're driving, you kind of lean your arm on it. So I'll take total interior cleaner, spray this down and especially kind of on this white armrest, it's going to make it just look a little bit better but only in certain areas will I be using the total interior cleaner. You know, the other thing about doing the interior here at home the day before is like, it's hot. It's going to be 85 degrees tomorrow at the show. And I'm just going to be in this, you know, 61 Lincoln oven. And like, if I get out, I'm going to be all sweaty and nasty. I don't want to feel like that when I'm at the show, I'd rather get that over with here and be ready to enjoy the show and not be all nasty. Okay. So, done using the interior detailer and everything is looking nice and even uh very very presentable but the next thing we want to address is the interior glass okay there's nothing worse than cleaning the exterior of your car cleaning the glass and there's just streakiness on the inside so the way to do that is use the brilliant glaze and actually in this car there's a ton of chrome accents on the inside of the car which this will be perfect for so the brilliant glaze tends to separate because it's solvent and wax, a little bit of abrasive in there. So make sure you shake this good before you start using it. And the things I have with it are a double soft plush towel and a gray microfiber applicator pad. And this is a tip we talk about a lot, but I think it's definitely underused. The, the little bit of the abrasive in the brilliant glaze and the food grade solvent that's in there actually really cleans the glass really well. And also with the glaze sort of fills in the pores a little bit. So it's much easier to clean off fingerprints or the off gassing that happens from inside your car. So what I'm going to do is I'll treat all the glass first with brewing glaze. And actually I'll do all the Chrome as well. Uh, like this little accent here for the rear view mirror, get it on the Chrome. I'm actually going to do it on the mirror as well on the chrome accents and there's all this chrome right here as well i'm going to treat all this the chrome and the glass and once i have it on here then i'll just come back with my double soft towel wipe it off and it's going to look awesome and then what we can do then we'll jump outside and do a little bit more prep on the outside okay so we're done with the interior and now it's time to address the exterior now what i don't want to do is fully clean the exterior i'm not going to waterless wash it i'm going to do that when I get to my spot at the actual show. But what I do want to do is get the excess dust off of the car. Cause again, this has been sitting here for a couple weeks. So the best tool to use for that is the air cannon. Now you might think like what the air cannon that's for drying. Well, that's sort of a detailer or Adams polishes tip. Use this to get the excess dust off your car. So then when you get to the show, it makes it a lot easier to perform a waterless wash. Okay, so one of the last things we're going to do for preparation the day before is clean these tires. I'm not going to worry about the wheels now because I'm still going to drive there and I'm going to do the waterless wash on the whole car and the wheels. But what I do want to do is strip off any old tire dressing that is on the tires. As you can see, as I rub these, it's really inconsistent and there's black coming off onto my fingers. 
I do not want to put tire dressing on top of that. I want to put the tire dressing on the naked rubber. So take tire and rubber cleaner, okay? And we spray it into an edgeless utility towel like so. And we use that to scrub and clean the tires. So as you can see, these tires are nasty. This is old tire dressing, maybe a little bit of tire blooming, but what happens is the silicone and old tire dressings brown as they're exposed to the sun, the air, all that stuff, they start to brown and it's not going to look good. It's gonna look terrible <laughs> to say it harshly, I guess. But the other thing is we can also clean the white walls of these tires as well. And the tire and rubber cleaner is one of the best ways to clean white walls on tires. So now you can see when I rub this, I've taken all the tire dressing off. So this is just naked rubber now. I'm going to drive this car with the naked rubber to the show and then once I'm there, I will apply the tire dressing, okay? This is a step forward to clean them and then I don't wanna take a step backwards by dressing them now, getting them dirty, getting to the show, having to clean them again Right? Let's clean them once, let's get to the show, put the dressing on, and then we can enjoy the show. One of the last things I wanna do before I'm done today, which is the day before the show, is I wanna get organized. What I wanna do is get the products I'm gonna use and the towels I'm gonna to use and applicators uh, into my eight bottle bag. So when I get to the show, I'm prepared, I know the process I'm gonna do, and if anything comes up, like fingerprints or a rainstorm, I'm prepared and ready to go. So, waterless wash, absolutely gonna need this. And actually, I'm gonna take two bottles with me. So I have one with the sprayer, one without the sprayer. You know, I might need both bottles, but realistically, I'll tell you what happens. You get to the show, your buddy pulls up next to you, he sees how clean your car is and he says, oh, I forgot my waterless wash or my detail spray. Second product I'm gonna need. So detail spray, another one out the sprayer okay now I'm gonna need a tire dressing on an older car like this you know I think a matte finish to me looks more period correct uh, but again tire dressings are all personal preference and I have both graphene tire dressing and graphene VRT I'm actually gonna use graphene VRT tomorrow because I think it's gonna look good on these tires but listen next show <laughs> I might use graphene tire dress in your regular tire shine it doesn't matter because again, you're gonna clean that off anyways. Now, another thing I'm gonna put in there is interior detailer. Just maybe you get coffee before you go to the show or you're eating in your car. And you need something to freshen up your interior, interior detailer. We used it already today, but it's just a good tool to have in the bag. And last but not least, Brilliant Glaze. We are gonna use this like crazy once we get to the show. Now, what we need to do is put all the associated applicators and towels in there. So I got my Pro Tire Hex. I got waterless washing towels. I have an edgeless utility towel to go with my interior detailer. I have plush towels. I got an array of plush towels. So I have borderless gray and a double soft towel. You know, the double soft towel just works really good when it comes to removing brilliant glaze and using with detail spray. Same with the borderless gray. And last but not least, I'm actually going to grab an ultra plush drying towel. You're like, what the heck? You're not gonna be washing your car. No, I am not gonna be washing my car, but mother nature might wash my car with rain. I never know if I'm gonna get caught in a rainstorm. And look, I'm not necessarily gonna leave the car show because it's gonna rain, but I wanna be prepared. So necessarily not going to use it, but an absolute necessity when you get caught in a rainstorm. And again, I have detail spray in there, so realistically, I could use that as a drying aid. I will have the nicest, driest car as long as I have this with me. So just a tip, you know, I may not use it, but something that when you do have it, everybody else is jealous. So make sure you have that. So take the rest of my stuff, get it out of here, and then we'll keep our eight bottle bag kit in the trunk. So then, when I show up tomorrow at the show, I am prepared, ready to go, and our car is gonna look better than everybody else's car in their spots.
All right, we made it to the car show. So now is the time to do some work, essentially. But because we did the prep last night, uh, my work that I'm gonna do is gonna be a lot easier. So remember, the last thing we did at home, once we were done, we got our eight bottle bag ready. So got my eight bottle bag ready. So what I can do now is pull this out. We'll close it here. And first thing we do is waterless wash. We can do this nice, quick, and easy. So you can see a noticeable layer of dust. And what we wanna do is get that off of the car. Now the easiest way to do that is waterless wash. You can spray this liberally on the car, okay? So we spray a lot of this on here. And now we're just removing the dirt. And we don't need to rub this in, but we're just wiping the dirt off. Now the waffle weave pattern is gonna help remove the dirt without scratching and the lubricity of the waterless wash is gonna help so the towel glides, but also the waterless wash encapsulates the dust. So when we do wipe it, we're not rubbing it into the surface. So this is the safest way to get your car clean without needing a hose and all this stuff, right? I'm not gonna finish this perfect because I'm eventually gonna put Brilliant Glaze on, then it will look perfect. Done doing the exterior of the car, but what you don't wanna forget is your jams. And in this case, your suicide jams. So get those doors open, clean your door jams. You know, you don't wanna be that guy that, you know, someone says, hey, let me check out the interior and you open it and you're like, boom, what? Oh man, don't forget your jams, all right? Okay, done waterless washing and now we are going to do the brilliant glaze and I'm gonna use a double soft towel with it and a gray microfiber app, but keep the towel in here because what I wanna do is glaze it first. So it's still streaky from the waterless wash. I'm just gonna glaze this really quick, okay? Same glaze I used on the interior glass yesterday. But now what I can do is add a ton of shine onto the paint, the chrome, and I can really even out the glass on the car as well. The Brilliant Glaze is going to add so much value and so much shine and that's the beauty of Brilliant Glaze, okay? You could do this to the whole car, then we'll go back and wipe it off. Now, one little tip with that, okay, I'll put this away in my bag. One little tip with that is I could go through with my Double Soft and wipe this off really easy. It's gonna come off very, very easy. But sometimes you get caught in the really hot type of weather. So what I recommend, if it does dry a little bit on there, use a spritz of the detail spray to help rehydrate the glaze that's on the surface. And now when you wipe it off, it comes flying off with ease. So I like to just keep the detail spray with me when I go back through to wipe off the brilliant glaze. If I need to just give it a quick mist, I can. And now we're gonna dress the tires and I'm gonna use graphene VRT with a pro tire hex grip. Uh, the reason why I'm using graphene VRT is it's going to finish matte. I want it to look original. I don't want it to look crazy shiny. So matte finish, graphene VRT, put some onto the applicator, and I actually like to rub it into the applicator just to get it incorporated. It makes it going on much more even. Now we just put it on, and you'll see it starts to darken the black section of the tire and also make the white wall look really nice. All right, so all the tires are dressed and the car is perfect now. I'm done. Now what I need to do is get my products back in the trunk. But actually first what I'm gonna do is pull out a detail spray and a plush towel because why not display your atoms on your car? But also just to be ready if I need to wipe it down again. Now we can take our products, get them into the back of the trunk and it is time. Time to kick back, relax. I'll probably make a couple laps to see the other cars, but now I know my car is the cleanest car in the lot and I feel good.